Bly Prince Gaming Twitch slash YouTube channel. I'm your boy, the Bly Prince, and we will be playing Halo Combat Evolves Intro Level The Pillar of Autumn today. The idea of the stream is to give you a basic idea of who I am because on my YouTube I usually don't talk because I do shows short green. clips, Cycle complete. which I usually don't include my voice on. This is a way to get my voice Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. We will be playing the disorientation should pass quickly. With several Welcome different back, roles sir. included. We'll have you battle ready playing stat. with recession, famine, iron. Chief, please anger. look around the room. I need to get a calibration and reading for your battle suit's diagnostics. Good. Correctly. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing your health monitors online, sir. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. Right on out. I gave you a double dose of the wake-up stim. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the optical diagnostic station when you're ready. Stand on the red square, please. I know the ordnance techs usually take care of your targeting sensors, but we're short of time, Chief. Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change color. Okay, that looks good. Sir, I'm getting some calibration errors. I'm going to invert your looking pitch so you can see if you like it better that way. Try targeting the flashing lights again. Is that better or should I switch it back? Okay. Try looking up and down again, please. Do you want me to leave it like that or switch it again? Okay, I'll leave the pitch normal. But if you want, you can change it yourself later. Normal or easy? I'm ready for the energy shield test now. Please follow me to the energy shield test station. Fire team, report to defensive positions Alpha through Sierra. Sensors show inbound Covenant boarding craft. Stand by to repel border. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. All right. Shields read as fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to Cryo 2, this is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics and On I... A double, Truman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. Okay, I'll leave the self-diagnostics running at least. Good idea. You'd better get to your evac group, Sam. Affirmative. I just have to reset the computer and I'm out of here. Oh, They're trying to get through the door. Security! Intruders in Cryo 2, please! Sam! Sam! Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here. This way! Oh, is it interesting that Covenant have already got this far in the ship? the cutscene of the book that this is based on. They're boarding the ship while this is going down. We're having trouble getting through all the lines. No, he has seen it before. But I'm guessing they've already breached. They're all here throwing their lines at each other. Hydrocephalus, which means I have extra brain fluid. Um, in order to combat this, I don't keep it I'm loaded, sold, so you'll have to find out where you go. in a shot to make sure that the extra brain fluid didn't hurt my brain or like kill me or anything. At the age of five, my shell failed, and I was not using that. I was basically mad at that. I was just really choosing to throw it on for headaches. And I those Marines could use some help, Chief. Need you do best. Oh. 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 
Keep your head down, there's two of us in here. You learn to adapt. And one of the things that helped me adapt was to the screen and I actually prefer playing on the old graphics because it's easier for me to see and it doesn't overload what my eye can't see. Level 10. 
into a game. This one is there's just something about looking in the autumn, having Keys talk to Quintana, introducing Sergeant Major Johnson and a lot of the Marines, and then introducing the Master Chief that's been cryo. And it's one of those, it is a basic beginning level, but this got the original Halo trilogy started. And I would say this is my favorite game of all time. But I play Halo 2 is really good at Halo 2. I never really got into Reach as much. Um, ODST was pretty good. I played 4 once, I guess, in my friends. Um, I only played a little bit of Guardians. I don't play that much, and it's almost impossible for me to play. Because I Got him. It's not impossible, but it's just, it's a lot of extra hoops to get But I mean, on a game like this, the life pods are launching. You should hurry. Warning, blast doors closing. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. Wipe them out. Really don't want us on that rank. We have to use the ship's maintenance access ways. Follow the nav point. It will lead you to an opening. Then we wait patiently for this door to open. Detecting Covenant movement outside the access ways. Activating motion tracker. Let's find a safe guys. exit. I don't realize, or I don't understand why in the lore one of the elites you kill in this room doesn't die. I I might switch it over to uh explosion. Oh, I'm back here. What the First lead I shot. I think he's in right here. We'll switch over to the new graphics. I think it's this guy. It's either him. Uh, this is hard on my eye. Huh? One second. Let's see if I can walk over to the other guy. It's... I think the problem with this one is the color palette it throws off what my eye can see. It's I think it's supposed to be brighter and it's just painful on my eyes. There we go. I think it's that first elite. Is the one that is supposed to survive, and then you fight him on the mall whenever you're escaping. Like the Engineering, when the place is blowing up, he's the elite on the turret. And he's actually hunting for campaign. Which, if you ever want to learn more about that of all story, I recommend reading Halo of the Flood. It is one of the best overall. Halo books, in my opinion. Um, it goes over what happened in more detail, like what are the Marines doing, what are the ODSTs doing, what's Master Chief doing more in detail. Um, it flushes out a lot more of the story of this game. And it also shows you what happens to James after helmet later on in 343 Guilty Spark. And it really shows you how terrifying the flood can be, like what it's like to be back to the a lot of the terminals also do that. They won't mess with us again. I know when like, you're just thinking sometimes you guys can see the enemies, but I'm not. 
going to be able to, so I'm sorry if I miss easy shots on occasion. Keep it up! The damage to the superstructure is extensive. Of I don't know how much more abuse the autumn can take. The problem with being illegally blind is you can't always see everything. You guys can see There's one elite down here, one more elite. And I think maybe another grunt back here, it's hard to tell. And then we have one more squad coming in, we're done with the level. Hello there. second level which as I said I'm not really gonna play this level um I haven't memorized it partially because of the jump sequence I can get to it but I guess I'll do like the first chief of fights chief can you hear me at last are you all right can you move it's one the of those others. it's good to be mm -hmm. on the halo ring there's nothing we can do warning I've detected multiple covenant dropships on approach I recommend moving into those hills. Which fun if fact? We're lucky. Mm. The Covenant will believe remember, that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in the crash. Up in the water up here is where one of the skulls are. Alert! On. Covenant the, dropship inbound. First skull is actually up the lower bottom for survivors. in that first room. I recommend immediate evasion. Um, I think, which I picked it up, it's up in this area up here. And you have to be on the new graphics in order to get the skulls in the um, different terminals, but... The skull's somewhere up in here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, because I can't. The only reason I know I got it was if you run over it, you get the achievement. So. That makes it a bit easier, and I probably should be careful, because if you jump too far down, you die from falling on the waterfall, so I probably won't go further down. But we're going to wait for the Banshees here, and we're going to try and take out the Banshees, and then we'll be down and take out the squad coming in. And then I think we'll stop playing after we meet the Marines and finish wiping out the Covenant forces that are dropped off. Or you can do it. Then next time we'll actually take down the wall. The Truth and Reconciliation sniping mission. Then I'm probably going to try and do one level per stream. Maybe two if they go fast. Depending on how much time I have. Like I said, I'm I'm in my master's program, so I have to read a lot every week, and I have to usually write at least one five to ten page essay a week. Um, so that takes a lot of time. <laughs> if you guys ever want to go to grad school, if it's the past, I recommend it, but um, it's one of those, it will take a lot out of time. 
looks like I got rid of one of the banshees already. That went down a lot faster than I thought it would. Now it's time to hunt some grunts and an elite. I dropped him. I am favorite weapon actually in this game is probably the killer bug. But the skulls are running, it's not worth really picking it up. There we go. Grab some ammo. I guess I'm injured a lot more than I thought I was. It's really good. It's actually probably the best game in the game. Oh. It's sneaky, but that's awesome. 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 Grunts look here actually probably one of the most intimidating enemies in the game because they just throw grenades and if they stick you, you're dead, so... It's one of those, it's actually one of the most deadly things because they can kill you with sticking you. Usually they won't kill you unless you're really hurt with, like, gunfire, but... They also can kill you by throwing a grenade and flipping your vehicle on top of you, which happens a lot on Assault on the Control Room. Occasionally the Silent Cartographer. Um... For just a nuisance, it's like I actually prefer fighting the uh, elites, jackals, and usually hunters as long as it's in Halo Combat Evolved. Um, because I'm pretty sure there's a heads-up display which shows you where enemies are and stuff like that and I unfortunately don't get the luxury of looking at that which is fine I don't really need it for combat evolved I know most of the missions well enough and I know where most I'm reading a lifeboat beacon are over the next game. hill you should check to see if there are any survivors it's about time we meet Sergeant Major Johnson I'm pretty sure <laughs> Sticking me? I think I have to go to throw grenades more. Alright. Well, we can use the Squad and Covenant. These Marines are gonna Why nicely tell us how it's a mess down here. Um, Sergeant, please come up here after me. There's a Mach five. No, you're, you're good chill. to see you, sir. Really I thought we were the only ones who made it off the Pillar of Autumn. It's a mess, sir. We're scattered all over this valley. We called for evac, but until you showed up, I thought we were cooked. Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll stay here Heads until up. evac arrives. It's actually nice running into Damn crewmen because this is really the only Let's level check. you run into crewmen that have made it down to the surface. It's nice to see that some of the naval personnel made it off, though it sucks at the end of the game that I think the only survivors are Master Chief, Sergeant Major Johnson, there's um, a Pelican pilot that makes it off one ODST and then one ODI operative, I think. And then uh, what might be canonical 
Good Stubbo makes it off the Sergeant Stacker, but... I just killed Sergeant Johnson with his grenade. Gas plant died for another, like, two games. The Cavaliers are on! Alright, Marines. Well, your Sergeant might be down, but you have a blind guy here. with you, so let's rock and roll and kill all the come. That oh, was unexpected though. I'm used to the Marines dying on this level, but usually they get shot by elites or like jackals now. But we're gonna wait over here. I'm pretty sure the elite that's about to get dropped off will run over here, and I think the Marines hopefully can fighting all of the grunts that just got dropped off. Alright, there you are. Why do you Slaughter all your enemies. You can't hide from me. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, another grenade. If that kills my Trying to kill my marine. coming in before the two of them come in and then we'll get the drop ship or our pelican coming in drop off the warthog and then we'll call it uh -oh, this another two more. Dropping in behind us. they're trying to flank us and this is probably my least favorite of them because some of the enemies are running you have to kill them before the next part will go off keep it up we'll take you all on this. That's a loose Right, there sounds like there's one grunt left. I'm hoping the Marines can see him. I have no idea where you're in. He ran over here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Alright boys, They're everywhere. it's time we haul ass oh, up here because we're going to hold this structure for the last part of the fight. Oh, it's like for them coming up on these two rooms. Now luckily, you have a lot of ammo up here. Technically the crash down skate pod has another health pack for you. So that's nice, it gives you three health packs a lot of ammo. Come on the way. And... Fortunately, we've lost half our marines, but we had two marines and two naval personnel. And for some reason, my marines are running up like they should be. Come with you. It'll be. I'm about to back up. I die. Nice. Oh well, they all died. I'm gonna call it then. Sorry I died at the end, but that's alright. Um, but thanks for joining in on my first stream. Um, hopefully it was semi-entertaining. Next time I'll actually probably have some of my fun stories about what I've done in my life. Um, but thank you all for joining in and have an excellent day and welcome to the Blind King.